I've been involved in looking at uh, innovation really in terms of opportunities for distance learning and collaborative online learning and um, this little video that's playing now gives you an indication of the um, what I would call real virtual environment that uh, my students can go in. In fact, um, this evening, because it's Thursday evening, in just under four hours from now, I'm going to be back at home and I'm going to be online in this virtual environment with my uh, gas evening students delivering um, a one hour session this evening, getting them prepared for some uh, examinations that they're going to be doing next week on uh, Tuesday evening. Um, this is me represented as an avatar. You can see I've managed to work out at the gym and get a little bit more hair. So I'm really pleased with uh, being able to get into this environment. Um, we have a tremendous opportunity here with regards to working in this uh, type of multi-user virtual environment. We've designed, for example, here on our college island, a central heating system which replicates what we've actually got in terms of our practical prov provision here in the college. Um, the advantage is that uh, students can go into this environment 24-7, they can meet up with their peers, they can have discussions because everybody's wearing a headset and a microphone and they can speak to one another as indeed myself as the tutor can speak to the group and uh, have uh, a conversation. So we can encourage students to basically uh, undertake a learning process online that gives them an opportunity to uh, understand what would be quite complicated uh, topics or subject areas um, within their uh, sort of formal education. Um, Second Life is something which is uh, free and accessible to everybody. Uh, the college has actually leased uh, two islands now and we're using those islands to really um, look at and to understand better the opportunities that exist with this approach of um, distance learning. Um, we're fortunate here in the UK certainly over the last sort of four or five years the majority of um, our learners appear to have been uh, equipped with broadband so access to the internet is very straightforward and easy for them and therefore having this sort of learning uh, material available to them in their homes they find very useful. Um, we can create lots of different assets for example here we've got a virtual book um, I'm just turning the page there but that was taken from a PowerPoint presentation that we'd be running normally in the classroom so they have an opportunity to come into this virtual environment to look at that um, PowerPoint presentation. Everybody obviously in this environment is able to communicate with one another so they can peer support and we have a lot of opportunity here for as well as in for example this uh, scene here where we have a traditional classroom environment interactive whiteboard learners got his hand up there wants to ask a question question can be asked and basically that can be dealt with by the tutor um, so this is really very much um, pushing the envelope it's very cutting edge in terms of what we're doing as a further education college there are other um, sort of educational institutions um, particularly in the university sector that have seen the potential of using this type of multi-user online um, system and we as I say at the moment at the College of Northwest London are very much focused on evaluating the true worth of this type of system and seeing how we could perhaps use it in um, our toolbox of a blended approach because it's very important to say that this is not being identified as we're going to close down the college infrastructure in the real, real world and move everything to a virtual world it is just another tool that is available to our learners to give them an opportunity um, to undertake in a slightly different uh, study mode. So the methodology that we're using here just supports our, our learners.